चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस चैनल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस वेरिंगनेस थ्योरम इट आल्सो नोन एज लॉ ऑफ मोमेंट्स नाउ लेट्स सी दैट व्हाट इज स्टेट्स सो इट इज स्टेट्स दैट द अल्जेब्रिक सम ऑफ मोमेंट प्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अ गिवन फोर्स सिस्टम अबाउट पॉइंट इज इक्वल टू द मोमेंट ऑफ दैट रिजल्टेंट अबाउट द सेम पॉइंट if we take in terms of the components then it can be stated as the moment produced by a force about a point is equal to the sum of the moments of its components about the same point now let's understand it in detail in this figure if we see that uh, there are three forces f1 f2 and f3 are acting on a particular body then the moment about uh, this point a that uh, is if we write down so moment about uh, point uh, a that uh, equals to f1 into d1 for the first force plus you can write down f2 into d2 plus f3 into d3 so this is the moment generated from the given three forces about point a and uh, all the moments generation in clockwise direction thus the total moment of this forces that is uh, we can say is ma here that is our equation number 1 now let's see that uh, what happens if the resultant of this force is generates the moment now here if we see that this is the resultant of this uh, forces f1 f2 and f3 and uh, that is uh, at uh, perpendicular distance d from the point a now if we uh, take a moment of that particular resultant about uh, point a so here moment about a is equal to r into d so this is the moment generated by the resultant now according to that uh, varignan's theorem equation 1 and 2 are equating so here f1 into d1 plus f2 into d2 plus f3 into d3 is equal to r into d so this is the equation that uh, equate the moments generated from the different forces or we can say different force system and moment generated from the resultant out of that forces now let's prove that theorem so for that if you see in this figure so let here the f1 f2 are the forces acting on this particle o and uh, this f is the resultant of uh, that particular forces now here d1 and d2 so this is d1 and this is d2 are the perpendicular distances of the forces about uh, point a so a is here and this is d that is also perpendicular distance of uh, force f about point a here you can see this theta 1 theta 2 and theta be the angle of forces with respect to positive axis and uh, here f1x f2x and 
this fx are the x components same way f1 y f2 y and f y are y components of this forces f1 f2 and f now here if we take a moment of f at a so moment of f at a that equals to f into d so we can say that f is the overall force that is uh, the resultant of this f1 and f2 and uh, if we take the d from the figure so that will be a o cos theta right so we can write uh, like this is equal to f cos theta into a o so here f cos theta we can write down corresponding to the x axis so we can take f cos theta is equal to fx here into a o so this is our result number one now similarly if we take a moment of f1 about uh, a so that equals to f1 d1 and uh, here also f1 and d1 that is again ao cos theta 1 that equals to f1 x into ao this is our result number 2 and moment of f2 about point a is equal to f2 into d2 is equal to f2 ao cos theta 2 so now what is uh, that uh, f2 into that cos theta 2 that is f2 x and remaining one is ao so this is uh, result number three now if we equate that all the results out of that equation so here we are equating that the results with uh, equation 2 and 3 with uh, equation number 1 so here equation 2 is f1 x into ao plus f2 x into ao is equal to fx into ao right how that is possible so let's uh, we can take ao is common here so it is f1x plus f2x right so now what is f1x and f2x so f1x and the f2x that is uh, we can say that the summation of that is equal to fx here so we can write ao into fx now it is same as the another side now hence it is proved from this equation if we rewrite this equation again so f1x ao that is nothing but f1x that is a distance uh, d1 so we can formulate that f1 d1 plus f2 d2 is equal to f into d so this is a final proof of the Varignan's theorem here that uh, we are discussed with that uh, two simple figures so this is nothing but a uh, moment generated from the force system that equals to the moment generated from the resultant so that is all about Varignan's theorem. I hope that you understand it very well. Thank you for watching this video.